Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get a whiteboard within your Google Meet and have that whiteboard as a shared whiteboard to share with every participant within that meeting. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now I'm super excited about this update. It's been announced, it's starting to roll out. And so more and more of us will start having this available on our accounts and within our domains. Now this will be available to all G Suite accounts and also personal accounts. And what am I talking about? Well, it's the whiteboard as part of your Google meetings. Now, first things first, open up your browser, navigate to meet.google.com and let's start a brand new meeting. So I'm going to click on that plus icon there and I'm just going to title this the demo whiteboard. So let's go ahead and title this demo whiteboard. Now, as soon as you're ready, go ahead and click on continue and this will start the welcome screen. Now this preview screen is where you can make sure that everything is working correctly, your microphone and your camera. And then once you're ready to dive onto the meeting, simply click on join now. Now this new feature will be available within your settings window. So go ahead and find that settings window in the bottom right corner. Now the bottom right corner, you have three dots. Let's click on those three dots. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And then here at the top, you will see whiteboard. Now it also has a little subtitle there that says open a jam. Now that's because the whiteboard integration for Google Meet comes from Jamboard. Now, if you're unsure how to use Jamboard, I have an entire video on that. You'll find the link in the cards at the top. But now that it is integrated with Google Meet, we can share these jams within our meeting. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to click on this. And we have two options. We can either open an existing jam from our Google Drive or we can create a brand new jam. Now, the reason they're asking this is because a link will be shared and you have to set those permissions. So you either add the people in your meeting as an editor and then they can also draw on that whiteboard. It becomes a great collaborative tool or they become a viewer and they can see the whiteboard but not change anything. I'm going to create a new whiteboard. So let's go ahead and click on that. And it's now creating my jam. This opens up a second window. Now you can either open up this window on a second display or you leave it right here where everyone can see it. Now I'm going to go to full screen and this is my Jamboard. I can use the various tools here. So I can use a pen tool. I can start demonstrating things to everyone in this meeting. I can even add some post-its and maybe I say, this is amazing. And then we can save that and we now have a post-it. Now, if I share this with my participants with editing rights, they can also add their own information to that. Once you're good and ready, then you can just simply close that Jamboard and you're back in your Google Meet. Now, I'd love to hear how you use whiteboards within your online meetings. Which ones have you been using up to now? I'd love to hear how you are using it in the classroom. What are you excited about? What are some of the things that you're not too happy about? And let me know in that comment section below if you already have access to this tool. If not, it is on a rollout, so you will get access in the next few days. I look forward to reading all those comments. In the meantime, watch one of these other videos that are suggested and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.